If you don't have the bravery to watch this video, don't watch it. It's about the girl who is six years old and the head of school, her or the bullies say that she's pregnant at age six. Let's go watch it, bro. Here she goes, bro. I feel sad, bro. He hung on. I want to be fucker. This is. I'm going to cut to it. Bro, this is sad, man. It is impossible to ever predict what life brings to us, though everyone wishes they could. She is called Elestine, a mother to Uwase Olga Blessing, who is going through a lot of hard times and terrible pain. Almost all people who see her in this area say that Olga is pregnant, but it was a body disorder, they needed help, and this is what happened. But I feel sad, man. It is not the first time that we visit this family. It is the third. And this is how their story goes. This serious condition caused Olga to drop out of school. Her mother says that she is facing a very difficult time in her life. Raising and taking care of a child as a single parent is also another challenging task. And she also said that lack of enough money for treatment kept her daughter becoming more ill. It was Man, one morning sad. and Olga was in nursery school. But early that day, she claimed to be having a lot of stomach pain and they had no idea that it was the last day that she ever woke up expecting to go to school. So she stayed home because they thought it was diarrhea and it would end anytime soon. The belly grew and turned into this. The people living around her all started saying that she was pregnant at six. Her mother tried taking her to the hospital, Damn. but treatment was very expensive, so she brought her home and she did not know what was happening to her daughter. They were visited by Afrimax and their story was told to the world. According to Elestine, their life totally changed from the moment that their story was aired. Damn. She says that since her first visit, a lot of people called her, trying to give her words of comfort, telling her not to worry at all because her daughter was going to be fine. She kept giving her baby medicine and they at least had hope that she was going to become fine someday. Damn bro, I feel sad. Very many people watched her story after it was published. They all contributed and they donated money for Olga's treatment because her mother had been home for some long time and they could not afford getting to a better hospital. A few days later, we visited them for the second time. We handed in the money that was donated to them via GoFundMe, a link that is always put in the description of each and every video and pinned in the topmost comment bro, this by is a lot of money, bro. This is a lot of money. Yo, this is a lot of money, It was a lot of happiness to them. When she received this money, one could see the joy in her face. She knelt down and thanked the Lord and all people that donated. And she said that at this point, she could see her daughter in school again. What happened? I don't have what to say right now. Getting to pay Olga's medical bill was really something beyond my reach. I talked to everyone I knew about my baby Olga's health condition, but no one actually helped, and I'm really surprised that Afrimax is also doing this for me. May our Heavenly Father bless you abundantly. Facts, bro. 
This is fair. She immediately scheduled to go and visit hospitals that she couldn't afford before. She went as fast as she could because her baby was dying and a lot of people kept calling her pregnant at six, which is also heartbreaking. She thought that these were the hospitals the gave her, that were going to treat her daughter. The money they gave her is around like $6,000, bro. Salah. So she visited them one after another with hope that one of them was going to ever manage to treat her daughter permanently. What happened? Nigeze muona rwara sinigeze muona ataka igicurane yarigaga yarigari deni yakaga A lot of people told her that Olga might be suffering from ascites Ascites is an abnormal build up of a fluid in the abdomen Its symptoms include increased abdominal size increased weight abnormal discomfort and shortness of breath and the little girl Olga had all these symptoms and all that was left was getting money for medication, which was now covered. After going through a lot of medical checkups and scans, they finally realized what was wrong with Olga's body. What's wrong? Unfortunately, it was her heart. Damn. You see, the human heart is composed of four separate chambers that pump blood two on the right side and the other two on the left and it is one of these chambers that was seriously damaged and it was why a fluid kept leaking into her belly and became this big Damn. she kept on going in different hospitals and she finally came across one that agreed to try all they could so that they can save Olga's life what happened? Bro, I feel sad, man. They were admitted in this hospital in which they spent a month being treated. But actually, nothing was changed about her condition. Damn. When the doctors failed, they had to talk to Elistine. They said that her daughter needed a serious heart surgery and in this country, none of the hospitals were ever going to help her. And all they could do was just to keep giving her a few pills, but it was not going to save her daughter at all. This These days, that. she says that her daughter does not even sleep anymore. She stays up all night crying because of the a lot of pain that she is going through. This has been happening for some time now, and Elestine puts her daughter on her chest, and it is the only way that she ever sleeps. Elestine was told that if she could only afford treatment, they were going to give her a medical transfer to India because they were sure that if she got there, she would undergo surgery that would change her life. Yeah. They were told that the charges were very expensive because the hospital required $7,500 per week yeah. and she was supposed to spend two weeks in the hospital, which means that she needs around 15,000 US dollars and this is the money needed for medication alone. Damn. They got home and the situation kept becoming worse. Olga's entire body started swelling and this is when she rushed her back to the hospital. They gave her treatment because her body parts that had gotten swollen at least became better. But the size of the belly did not change at all. She is now asking for help so that she can be able to take her daughter abroad for surgery because it is the only way that is going to save her daughter's life. They know that it is very expensive but they have been suffering for a very long time. Yeah. And this is the only hope they have left. <laughs> The funds that will help this little girl go for treatment will be donated via GoFundMe, a link that is always put in the description of each and every video 
and pinned in the topmost comment by Afrimax English. Bro, I feel sad, man. I feel sad, bro. I feel so sad. If you don't feel sad, you don't have a heart, bro. I wish if I had money, bro, 